Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. So we have f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x is equal to x, x does not equal 0, x does not equal 1. And we're going to be looking for f of x. We've done a functional equation before on this channel, I'll include the link in the description down below. So let's go ahead and get started. Now what are we going to do? In this functional equation, notice that we have two different expressions inside the parentheses, so I'd like to use substitution. And let's go ahead and replace x with 1 over 1 minus x. That's going to give us another equation. So let's go ahead and call this equation number 1, and this equation we're going to call that number 2. All right, let's see what happens. f of 1 over 1 minus x plus, now in this expression, if you replace x with 1 over 1 minus x, let's see what happens. So 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 over 1 minus x. So that's kind of like a complex expression. We're going to simplify that now. Let's see what happens. f of 1 over 1 minus x. And here, if you make a common denominator, you'll notice that it brings you 1 minus x minus 1. The 1 is going to cancel out, okay? So we're going to get something like this. 1 minus x minus 1 over 1 minus x. And of course, we're talking about the reciprocal of this term. The ones are going to cancel out, you're going to get negative x over 1 minus x, but you have to flip it, so it's going to be f of f of 1 minus x over negative x, okay? Now, obviously, an expression like this, you don't want to write it like that, so let's go ahead and negate the top and the bottom and write it as f of x minus 1 over x, so it's going to look nicer, okay? f of 1, 1 over 1 minus x plus f of x minus 1 over x. And the right hand side will stay the same. Okay, so this is going to be our second equation, all right? We're going to call this equation number 2. And then we do need another equation, and then we'll put it all together and solve the whole thing as a system. Now, where does the third equation come from? So remember our original problem, f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x is equal to x. Now, notice that we did get a new term here, which is x minus 1 over x, so it would make sense if you replace x with that, okay? And when you do, you're going to get something like this. You're going to get something like f of x minus 1 over x plus f of, let's go ahead and simplify this, 1 over 1 minus, and again, remember that you're replacing x with x minus 1 over x, and on the right hand side as well. So we're going to be getting something like this. And here, we're going to simplify this expression. Let's go ahead and simplify it here. It's going to give us x minus x plus 1 over x. But the reciprocal of that, the x is going to cancel out. You're going to get f of x from here. Great. That's what we wanted. So this is going to give us f of x minus 1 over x plus f of x is equal to x minus 1 over x. And this is going to be equation number 3. Now, we're going to put it all together and solve this as a system. So let me go ahead and copy equation number 1 and number 2 here. Equation number 1 is f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x is equal to x. That's equation number 1. And equation number 2 is f of 1 minus x over x. Remember, we replaced x with that. Plus f of x minus 1 over x. And the whole thing is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. And this is equation number 2. Okay, the reason why I wrote them in this order is I'm going to get rid of what I don't need. I'm looking for f of x and I don't want the other terms. Notice that in the second equation, we have both of the unwanted terms. And in the first and, uh, first and third equation, we have the f of x and the other terms. So it would make sense, it would make sense, if you go ahead and add these two equations, and subtract the third one, because that, that'll help us get rid of these terms and these terms, all right? So that's the plan. We're going to be adding 1 and 3, and we'll be subtracting number 2 from it. And that's going to give us 2 times f of x on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, basically, since we're adding the first and the third one, we're going to be getting something like, you know, x minus 1 over x, plus x, and then we'll be subtracting the second one, which is 
1 over 1 minus x. Now, I'd like to simplify this a little bit to make it a little better, and I'll take care of the 2 at the end, so let me go ahead and simplify the right-hand side. But before I do, allow me to write this expression as positive 1 over x minus 1. So I just wanted to negate it because it's uh, going to be a little easier to solve. So now, what am I going to do? Well, I'll make a common denominator and solve for f of x. That's it, right? That's what we need. So the common denominator here is x times x minus 1. So I'd like to multiply this x minus 1 by another x minus 1, which is going to give me x minus 1 quantity squared. x needs to be multiplied by x and x minus 1. So it's going to become x squared times x minus 1. And this one needs to be multiplied by x only, right? Okay, great. So all over x times x minus 1, which is my common denominator. Now, at this point, if you want, you can go ahead and get rid of this 2 and put it over here. All right, cool. So we don't have to wait till the end. So now, f of x, let's go ahead and simplify this expression and write our answer in the simplest form. So if you expand this, you're going to get x squared minus 2x plus 1. And if you distribute that, you're going to get x cubed minus x squared and then plus x all over 2x squared minus 2x. Great. Now, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and simplify this, f of x. Notice that the x squared is going to cancel out, leaving us with x cubed minus x plus 1 divided by 2x squared minus 2x. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.